tell me a little bit about your character and why you wanted to participate in this movie. Well, oh, I've loved Julie forever, I, and I've wanted to work with her for a long time. My character's name is Dick Carter. He's a porn star with a heart of gold. Uh, and um, she's just so fun, and she really loves actors, and she loves to really let actors be who they are. And she's like, I, I wrote this role for you. I want you to be in this movie. And, you know, and she's such a loving person. I like, you can't not do that. And I love the script. Was there ever a time in your career where you thought you'd give up and now you're so successful? Any advice you can give? Because Gen Art is really about emerging talent. Yeah, I can tell you that a lot. There are many. There are, when people say they've never thought about giving up, I think that's crazy. That's all. I used to think about giving up all the time. And then every time I would think about it and do it, I would be like, what else am I going to do? You know what I mean? I had nothing else and I'd go back. So it's really about following your inner muse. And, you know, the thing about Gen Art is, is that it is artist. And I know that sounds it, but sometimes, you know, in Hollywood, you get caught up in business. And you have to play that game. But I'm really now in my 30s trying to embrace the artistic part of myself. And that was one of the reasons for this movie. It's about a passion project that funded and died and funded and died. And her tenacity really kept it going. And our belief in it, you know. We got paid fine. You know, we got paid a lot of money, but it was about that. And, if you really know that you don't want to do anything else, follow your heart, because money ain't going to make you happy, you know? You've made good amounts, I've lost good amounts, you know? Fame is great, you know? It's not going to make you happy. It's about doing what you love, feeling your soul. And you'll know if you're meant to do it or not, because you won't be happy unless you do it. Hey, what's up, Extra? It's Jamie Kennedy, and I found Bliss in the Big Apple. And my final question. You better grab her. She's going to get her. Baby, you're getting smart. Grab her. What? And my final question, have you guys come up with like a name, like, you know, the Brangelina, or have you all thought of anything? You we should tell them the name. He asked the name. <laughs> People say Genity. You like that one? Genity. Uh, hi. <laughs> it's a great movie. Hey there. So, uh, what brings you out tonight? Um, I'm here to see my boyfriend's movie. Finding the list, I and uh, I'm a big fan of Gen Art. I've been to a bunch of the Gen Art fashion shows and stuff like that. I've never been in town to do the festival before, so I'm really excited. I gotta know, was there ever a point in your career where you thought you'd give up? Was there ever like a breaking point in your career and now, now you're here? Yeah, I had I had about five of those moments along the way and absolutely was, you know, considering sort of turning around and not being a part of the business anymore. And, um, you know, I just had like great people in my life who sort of said, no, you have to stick in there and it's really important to be an artist and it's important for the world to have artists. And so I stuck in there and I'm glad I did. And I gotta know, do you believe in UFOs? I do, yeah. I'm fascinated by them. And Extra wants me to ask if you could say, hey Extra, it's Jennifer Love Hewitt and I found Bliss in the Big Apple. Could sure, uh-huh. Hi Extra, Jennifer Love Hewitt and I found Bliss in the Big Apple. Hi, your middle name is Love, right? Thank you. You know what, it was, we actually, I read the script was written before Zach and Miri make a porno, so it seemed really original to me, and, and we shot it before that as well, they just came out first, and it seemed uh, really fun and this bizarre romantic comedy set in that world, I don't know, it sounded kind of uh, exciting to me at the time. Now you're a young actress, and uh, Gen Art is about emerging talent, is there ever a day in your career where you thought you'd give up and now you're so successful? Any advice you could give people? I don't know, acting's really weird. I think all the time you always think it's like the end and it's never gonna happen again and then you get another project that you throw your heart into and you give it your all. Um, you have to really love it, but it's like a job, like anything else. So it's like it takes a lot of work. And then there's a lot of moments that are really beautiful and magical, but you have to search for them and sometimes create them yourself, I think. And my question of the day, how many sugars do you take in your coffee? Lately, I've been having cream in my coffee and no sugar. How many creams? Like two or three? Or... I don't know. Fresh cream. Fresh cream. Yeah. This is a, a semi-autobiographical story. I worked at the Playboy Channel as an editor in 1995. I worked there for a year. I was 25 years old. I was single and um, hopeless romantic working in the poor business. People think of Playboy as very clean, but actually at the time Playboy was running, um, they had an adult video sidebar, which I didn't know when I took the job. Anyway, it was my introduction to porn. I was watching porn 9 to 5 
great 401k plan, great benefits, worked with great people, and I thought, I've got to make this into a movie. It was such a fish out of water story. Um, and I love the people I worked with, and I really changed my preconceptions about a lot of things. You know, as a feminist going in there, I came out with different ideas about sex and pornography. Well, I give up, I give up every week. I mean, I'm consistently giving up because you're always trying to raise money, you're always trying to get distribution, um, but you just can't. If you love something, you can't give up. And, you know, that's one of the reasons I, I took the job editing uh, adult films because it actually helped me stay in the business, learn the Avid, all the editing technology, keep my, my skills as a filmmaker. Um, you just got to do whatever it takes. And uh, if, you, if you give up, if you quit, you'll definitely fail. Uh, tell me about your short. Uh, it's called Boob. It's a short film. Horror and comedy mixed together. Uh, it's about a boob that comes to life and uh, uh, terrorizes the hospital. How about sums it up? It's a short film, so... How did you get into character? Uh, well, we, did, we were... We're around boobs a lot, so we thought we should make a film about boobs. There you go. <laughs> Next question. How do you make that? This is a prosthetic boob. We uh, actually cast for it on Craigslist. We got a real model. And so this is, a, this is based upon a real person's boob, uh, right down to the nipple. Uh, you can see some of the hair and... Yeah, it's kind of it's harder than you think. Um, but this this guy, we put a you can see underneath. We put a little uh, race car underneath, and he drove around. That was the whole movie. Any of your like female friends have any strong reaction to this? Oh yeah, the women are the grossed out the most for sure. But I found that women actually like it because it's actually there's an undercurrent of a, me a thin message about being against plastic surgery. So some women like it, and some women are offended by it. Evan Stone is a director. He's a porn actor. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dear friend of mine. And I've known him for years. He directs commercials. He directed The Breakfast Club. The poor guy. Oh, no, it's not the guy. What do you think of the, the feature? Oh, the feature was fantastic. It was really cute and endearing. Love the characters. And it was hilarious. So. What do you think of the short? Oh, love the short. Love the graphic of the boob flying around the place. Not what we expected when the knife first sliced into it. So. The feature was the feature was funny. It, it was really funny. Um, I just like the whole row was cracking up. It's zany fun. The, the short. Um, it makes me afraid of my own chest. I gotta say, I mean, I, I'm a little freaked out. I don't want to go to sleep tonight. The feature was That's me. great. Yes, that was. I mean, you can't say it's bad when the director's standing movie. here. Amy's Orgasm, we had that at the Times Square yeah. Theater. I was yeah. helping manage them. Oh, yeah, that was a great, yes. a great movie, too. It was a great movie, yes. She only makes great movies. They're so enjoyable, and this is Lili Sobieski's first romantic comedy. I'm not going to say rom-com. That's, that's pretentious. I thought this feature was very enjoyable. You know, to make a movie, a comedy about, a romantic comedy about the porn industry is very hard. No pun intended. So, um, but it, no, uh, Julie Davis really pulled it off. What do you think of the short? Oh, the short boo. Um, well, it has one more letter than my name, Bob, so I've loved it. Um, and what's funny, I think we saw more nipple in boob than we did in the comedy about the porn industry. Isn't that interesting? And the famous people have left the building. My name is davidjr.com